Hello Yankees fans subscribe so you don't miss any Yankees update this winter window. Yankees roster reports 2022, Ron Marinaccio. Marinaccio went from quarterback to key center for the Yankees in 2022. When Ron Marinaccio made the Yankees roster in 2022, one of the main things noticed about him was where he was from. Born in Toms River, New Jersey, Marinaccio grew up a Yankees fan. However, references to the last Toms River native to play for the Yankees were flying around. Sure, maybe there were some reasons to think he could be a solid piece for the Yankees, but mostly people were thinking, oh, that's a good story. Now, a season later, Marnaccio is gone and looks like it could be so much more than that. Great A! 2022 stats, 40 games, 44.0 IP. 2.05 ERA, 3.20 FIP, 4.06 XFIP, 11.45 K-9, 4.91 BB-9, 0.4 F War. 2023 Contract Status, Eligible for Pre-Arbitration After an impressive spring training, Marinaccio broke camp with the Yankees and made the opening day roster. His first two outs were solid, walking just one batter in 2.1 innings. However, his next two saw him give up five runs in 1.2 innings and he would be demoted back to AAA. At this point, it looked like Marinaccio was destined primarily to be a classic scrant and shuttle type pitcher. After Tim LaCastro was injured, the Yankees drafted Marinaccio. His first appearance back came on May 22nd and that day he began a streak that would make him a legitimate bullpen option. From June 22nd to 28th, Marinaccio went 19 scoreless innings in 15 games. He allowed just one hit and nine walks while striking out 22. Although he was broken in the next game, he followed it up with three more scoreless games, lowering his ERA to 2.03. Not long after that came one of the Yankees' most frustrating decisions of the season. At the trade deadline, the Yankees acquired Frankie Montas. Yankees fans, leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates this winter season and help us reach 1,000 subscribers. We're very close. Yankees help Yankees. We can debate this particular move and him being the one they picked but at the time it was pretty understandable given that the Yankees needed a starter. Montas did not immediately join because a death in his family saw him briefly go on the bereavement list. When he was finally drafted, the Yankees opted to send Marinaccio down to make room. It was a confusing choice considering how well he was pitching. It was also frustrating with the likes of Albert Abreu, who wasn't terrible but still not as good as Marinaccio still in the cast. The Yankees apparently tried not to take the risk of sending someone down with no options, rather than just keeping the best pitcher. Marinaccio's time away from the bigs didn't last long as IL stints from other relievers saw him recalled. Between that and the September roster expansion, he managed to spend the rest of the regular season in the major leagues. He just kept going posting a 2.08 ERA and allowing a post recall of .599 OPS. However, on October 2nd, in a late regular season game against the Orioles, Marinaccio was forced out of the game following a shin stress reaction. That injury kept him out of the rest of the regular season, and he didn't finish healthy in time for either playoff series. The bullpen wasn't really the issue in the Yankees' eventual playoff elimination, but it sure would be a nice guy to have. Injury would be an unfortunate end to a good but, for reasons that really have nothing to do with him or how he pitched, frustrating rookie season. While the reliever's fortunes can notoriously change quickly, in Marinaccio, it looks like the Yankees have a solid bullpen option for 2023. There was nothing particularly shaky about the numbers he came up with. His particular change proved to be a pretty impressive and reliable pitch that he could get away with. Marinaccio was a very cool story for the Yankees in 2022 and an intriguing option for them to go into 2023. In my opinion, he has not had a good year, 
since a death. A bad choice to leave him out until his injury. Hopefully he can have a healthy 2023 to show U.S. his all potential. And in your opinion, Yankees fan? Can Marinaccio help in 2023? And in order not to miss the daily notifications from the New York Yankees, subscribe and activate the bell and stay on top of all updates.